to increase the nation's export, the government came up with a strategy called the National Export Development Strategy, NED, to help increase the country's product meant for export. This is to help reduce the country's dependency on imports. The policy, according to NED officials, is hinged on three main pillars, which are increase the products, improve the business environment, and building the human capacity. To start with, the people must know and understand what the policy is all about to be able to support it. As part of building the human capacity, the authority has embarked on a nationwide sensitization drive to engage the people. In northern region, especially in Nanunk and Pandai district, the main product are roots and tours. The director of the National Export Department Strategy says it is the expectation that by 10 years time, the country will rake in over $25 billion from the initiative NEP. He has been speaking to City News. If we are able to increase our export from $3 billion to $25 in the year 2029, it's going to help the country a lot to create employment, to build the, 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 the CD and for, for that matter. And then we are also looking at one district, one exportable product. And Bimbilla, majority of you, or a majority of them, are into root and tubers. So root and tubers, we are looking at yam, cassava, and its products. Gare, uh, the, 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 the yam flour. Just as we have a factory here, the yam should be able to, produce, to get us yam flour. A cassava flour, so that those who intend to acquire with the cassava flour, those who intend to stay for food with the cassava flour, uh, yam flour, we can use it, for, we can export it, and that will come a long way to help the country as a whole. He is, however, worried that the kind of chemicals used in cultivating is a major challenge and urge the farmers to seek expert advice before using any form of chemicals. NED is doing this in partnership with the African Continental Free Trade Area, AFTA, which is to provide a common market for Africa to trade in commodities they have. The Northern Regional Director of AFTA, Alhaji Yakubu Yusuf, is optimistic that Ghanaians are going to benefit from the program. He has been speaking to City News. The Africa Continental Free Trade Area is a, a huge market area that we have identified by African Union who came together to decide that there is the need for Africa to have a single market and that gave birth to Africa continental free trade area after going through several protocols and agreements. Uh, African market we are looking at 1.2 billion people that constituted the market with estimated GDP of 3.4 trillion US dollars. So we at the National Coordination Office is to ensure the implementation of national policy framework and action plan for boosting Ghana trade with the rest of Africa. So with that one, the there are a lot of interventions that the government of Ghana is undertaking to make sure that we achieve um, you know, our aims and targets and the uh, Africa trade, continental free trade area. The representative of the Ministry of Trade, Mr. Isaka, advised farmers on the business model farming. My advice for farmers in this part of the region is that, you know, it is far too long. We have been taking farm as subsistence farming just to feed ourselves and also uh, uh, solve our personal, what's it called, uh, 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 problems. In fact, time has come when we have to move from that policy to another level. Because 
we are going into contractor free trade area where it's going to be a business so to that extent every farmer i should see should be thinking of enterprising his activities so that you will not be farming just to feed yourself and your family and the neighbor farmers at the engagement express excitement saying they have been enlightened they are however worried about getting certificates for their businesses they say if the certificates are made available it will help them some of them have been speaking to city news the program is very good and it will benefit me as a person and my entire young men and women especially the export when the export come it creates a lot of jobs and i will benefit and my other colleagues will also uh, benefit from it program is going to benefit most farmers who produce the tuba especially some of us are in cultivation of yam and i was very glad to hear the compo the component of yam export and the benefits farmers are going to get and what gives me much interest is the trade market which they are forming for the african trade market which farmers and uh, yam uh, listen farm yam produce producers or yam exporters will get advantage